cat use the spirits like that, the spirits will turn on you in a minute. Huh. You believe that. So, for those who think that you really did something, you ain't doing a goddamn thing. And if, if, if you tried to do something, you better be careful. Ancestors watching. Trust me when I tell you. Trust me when I tell you. Ancestors watching. The monkeys is watching. You don't want no problems. All right? Another Chevy Car Chronicles. I'm Brother Dinkra. This is Wunam. 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 <laughs> How y'all doing? Y'all miss us? I know y'all miss us. We've been so busy between trying to get another house after the fire. We were so busy just really running, running, running. We haven't had time to do predictions. We haven't had time to do a show. Um, you know, do new predictions. So family you're sorry but you know how that is when you go through some things and when you go through those things and you have to start all over again you know and a lot of people been asking us you know well did somebody do something spiritual and we haven't seen that but what spirit did say that this is a transformation for us and they want to get they want to bless us all over again you know what? Ancestors are very powerful, y'all. Let me just say this. Ancestors are super powerful. Ancestors are running down things down here. We ain't. We are not. Okay? So let's make no mistake about it. You're just another mere human being. And when you do unrighteous works, you best better believe they're coming back to you, especially in this time and energy. You know what I mean? Almost definitely. Because... I feel sorry if somebody really think they did something to try to cause problems. I'm like, really? Because at the end of the day, even if you think that and you're celebrating that, <laughs> I feel sorry for you because the wrath is about to hit you. Because you know, if people, it already didn't, for doing evil shit. Because people do things, unrighteous things. For no reason. Some people assume things that aren't there. Some people think things that aren't there. But I like to tell you, it's the time and energy we're in. We have people, you know, in the city that we're in, right? People do things that they they think they're gonna break the law and do unrighteous things, and then cover it up with spiritual work. But just as they went to somebody for spiritual work to hide things. The spirit is going to guide them to a righteous person that has the power to break the cover. That they we should uh, touch on. We should do a little quick prediction because we're going to still come out and do the monthly prediction. We just Boy, haven't had the time. Ahead. All right. Go ahead. So, you know, we want to just talk about what we see for this week. Now, we're saying that. Um, kids going back to school family mm -hmm. how do y'all feel about sending your kids back to school how do y'all feel about that some people are saying I ain't sending my kids back to school and, and what, what I can say about this you know just looking from the outside looking in I see you know a lot of these kids don't have COVID and nothing like that and then they go to school and everybody's got COVID in the school how is this happening you know are you sending your kids, are you letting the schools buy your mask? Are you giving your kids their own mask? What's going on with that? Are you letting the people that uh, have been known to oppress you and, and, and your kids and stuff like that hold the future in their hands? Or are you taking control of this and doing what you got to do to protect your children? You know, these are some things we need to think about. Because everything, everything happens for a reason and these things and instances instances of people catching and contacting these vir this virus isn't coincidence. That's right. That's right. So, mm. that's all I'm going to say about that, you know? Because, mm -hmm. you know, YouTube has a way of censoring <laughs> a 
lot of things. They took down a video we did uh, where we talked about what we saw spiritually with this uh, virus. So, you know. Well, you know, what gets me is that everybody better raise up their voices. Putting that vibrational energy out there because at the end of the day, they're doing what we their very own undoing. They're doing too goddamn much, okay? Doing too much. And we're saying that they got to be careful because they're doing unrighteous things. Everybody keeps saying, oh, they're trying to depopulate the earth, do this, do this. Who are you to do? Who are you? you didn't create nobody. And you didn't create this earth. So who are you to think that you're going to take the time to try to depopulate this earth? You know, I'm going to tell you what spirit showed me. At least 60% even more of this earth is not occupied. Did y'all know that? 60% of this earth is not occupied. I believe that because how many times have you uh, driven somewhere, walked down the street, right? And you see all the, you see, you see a bunch of land everywhere. Stuff still growing. Look at this idiot pulled out, right? stuck his vehicle way out like this. So, pretty much, who are you to take it in your hands and say that you need to depopulate the earth? Mm -hmm. And people can live off the land. The, uh, let me tell you, nature provides everything that you need to say, sustain life. They got you believing that you got to depend on them. Yeah. Even, even down to the... Uh medicines and fruits and stuff like that when i was a kid a lot of things that we buy in the supermarket grew out in the wild berries all this type of stuff berries cherries all this stuff grew out in the wild but you know people that we allowed to control our future and stuff like that say you know what we're going to cut off their medicine supply so they could come to us and that we could charge them a hundred percent markup on medicine and stuff like that or charge them mark up the fruit and stuff like that because they're not growing it no more so I got some peppermint somewhere hmm? now you peppermint. want a peppermint back there yeah want to go back yeah turn back around. so i'm gonna tell y'all like this so they gotta finish the story this they better be very, very careful because um, nature is about to show them who's really in, in, in charge. Y'all don't even have a lot of rain. This is the age of water. Mm -hmm. So they think they're all bad. You need to populate the goddamn thing. Nature's about to show you who the boss is. They're about to show you. And I and, and for me, I, I don't think it's a coincidence that so many people are returning back to nature. You know what I mean? A lot of black people, black women, black men are coming back to the indigenous ways, yep. the indigenous cultures, learning their ways. So many people are learning how to survive off the land again. That's not by coincidence. It's you not. Know? That's not by coincidence that people are learning and getting reconnected with the uh, ancestral knowledge on how to recognize wild um, herbs and stuff like that and what you can eat and what you can't eat. People are really doing the knowledge and learning how to survive and make medicines, you know, yeah. without having to go to the doctor. You, it's so much thing, it's so many herbs and so many things that grow out in nature that will heal the body that we have not even tapped into. And I am not talking about stuff that you can just buy from a store. A lot of this stuff that grows in the wild is way more powerful than if you cultivate it. Mm -hmm. So like, for instance- So y'all talk about the thinker cause I'll be right back. So for instance, golden seal, if you grow it on your own, it's going to be powerful, it's going to work. But if you can find, and you can go out in, in, in the, in the, in the uh, bush and forage for golden seal, you're gonna realize once you start using it that it's more stronger than what anything that you could actually buy from somebody 
that's uh, creating it and putting it in a pill. So I want y'all to uh, marinate on that and think about that and till Lunab comes back. All right, family, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. I had to run and get some peppermint oil. You know, I can't be without my peppermint oil, y'all. So, um, so, so I guess, yeah, go ahead. No, you're gonna say, brother, I think around. I think, I think, and then we'll, later on this week, we'll, uh, we're gonna do the show. I know y'all say we've been saying this for a while, but we are gonna come back and do a show of monthly well, shoot, y'all, let me tell y'all something <laughs> as well. As we've been looking and looking for, you know, our new house and stuff like that, let me tell y'all this. We also still been helping people, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, our stuff is in storage, but guess what? Our shrines are out in storage so we can still help people. So, people been coming to us left, right, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? They've been coming to us say, did y'all see that? They got a COVID vaccination site right there. I only seen it in the neighborhood. I only seen hood. it in the hood. In the hood. I okay. haven't seen it in the, in the, um, in the predominant, you know, the well-to-do neighborhoods, in the white neighborhoods, mostly white neighborhoods. I haven't out. seen it. Huh? Please get this car clean tomorrow. I just seen that car work. Anyway, y'all. So, we're saying that tell y'all like this people are still coming for help a lot of people are needing help so we're still working too making still packages making packages seeing clients so we've been doing that too so when we don't come on if you say we're gonna come on and we don't come on just know that we're getting busy I'm doing readings at night right I'm doing readings at night she doing readings I'm making packages he's making packages I'm doing readings Last night I had another two hour reading, y'all. Mm -hmm. Two hours. Two hours. And it was crazy because. <laughs> it was crazy because this young lady that I read last night, they found her niece dead in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And she needed some guidance. Right? Yeah. Which is just too. I just said, yeah, I'm just agreeing with she you. Needed she needed some, some guidance. Because she was just overwhelmed. And she was place. feeling her niece coming to her. And, you know, we was on the, on the thing for two hours, y'all. When I tell y'all two hours, two hours. So. Yeah, and this person was a seer, but she was focusing so much on it, she couldn't. She couldn't see. She couldn't see the visions that she needed to see. Right. So. Now. We're saying that. We've been busy. However, we're going to give you a short version of predictions for the month of August. Mm -hmm. So far, kids went back to school, especially in the South. Um, so the kids are back in school, okay? Um, hurricane season, get ready, get ready, get ready. I told y'all that last month. We ain't seen nothing yet. We ain't seen nothing yet. These waters are going to be coming and flowing and flowing and flowing, okay? We already seen some things. Look at that. What they do? Fixing that ladder. We ain't Go seen there. everything. Okay? <laughs> Y'all about to see. And those who think they bad trying to do all this goddamn population control and doing this and doing that and causing sickness and this and that. Ooh, I feel sorry for y'all because the spirit and the power of nature is getting ready to show y'all some shit. Don't say it to tell you so. Now, everybody thinks there's gonna be another shutdown. People out here buying like song, buying food, buying water, because they think buying there's gonna be another water, shutdown. Buying up all the water, buying up all the and all the bleach. And all the bleach, right. Yeah. So people are panicking y'all, but let me tell you this. Every time I come in and y'all, whoever, whoever, whatever bitch, did the ritual to try to make me yawn while I do this fucking show, I'm gonna kick your motherfucking ass. <laughs> Whatever, bitch, I send it back to your ass and you'll yawn the whole time you're at work. Anytime you get on anything, your ass will yawn and sneeze. How about that? Toy move. We're going to Erica's. I said, you want me to go to bed? I'm uh, just gonna oh, go to okay, the okay, okay, That's fine. So, we're saying that. 
I am really tired though, y'all. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm really tired. Because I only had three hours of sleep. I did a two hour reading last night. I didn't go to sleep at six o'clock this morning because I was working on the computer. Yeah. So I'm really tired. And it's crazy because we really haven't we really been going to sleep a little bit earlier. You know, mm -hmm. because we've been getting up we've been catching up on our rest a little bit. But you know, we're still busy, and last night was the first time that we stayed up late because the, the uh, reading came in late. Yeah, the reading came in late. Yeah. <laughs> and what I, what, I, what I see, too, I just see more exposure, but I'm seeing certain states, the energy, like the energy they carry, the, the dirty energy and hiding stuff and the corruption and locking black people up and targeting black people. Certain states that I keep seeing they're finna get exposed for a lot of corruption and stuff that they do. I kept seeing um, 